Good morning, Glory. Good morning, viewers. Welcome to Abuja, federal capital of the Republic of Nigeria. We have not slept the whole night, Glory. We've been tracking and waiting for the final result of the 2023 presidential election year in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. APC candidate Bola Tinobu emerged victorious and he's going to be the one to replace Muhammadu Buhari. He was closely followed by by Atiku Abubakar of the PDP and of course Labour Party candidate Peter Obi and of course Bola Tinubu uh, got the majority of votes. He got 36% of the vote. Atiku Abubakar 29% and Labour Party uh, candidate Peter Obi. Now take a listen to the chairperson of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, as he declared the results of the first four, the first, the second, the third, and the fourth. Take a listen to him. Chinubu Bola Ahmed of the APC, 8,794,000 and 26. Abubakar Atiku of the PDP, 6,984,520. Obi Peter Grigori of the LP, 6,101,500. Musa Mohammed Rabiu Kwankoso of the NNPP, 1,496,687. Tinubu Bola Ahmed of the APC, having satisfied the requirements of the law, is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. So uh, that's it. Celebration has been going on here, notably among the supporters of ruling party APC candidate Bola Tinubu. There has been widespread celebration, notably at the level of the National Collation Center here in Abuja and of course at the party headquarters and uh, all over the uh, Nigerian territory. Supporters, sympathizers and all those who love Bola Tinubu have been celebrating. But on the other side, there are uh, protests, there uh, are uh, voices that are saying this is not right, that result proclaimed by the Independent National Electoral Commission is not the right result. Notably, the opposition has been crying out loud that there has been massive frauding with the compilation and the publication of results of the election. And we talked to one of the opposition vice presidential candidates uh, yesterday. Malaglory, 